to claim two weeks but i really know it's i been, really want to say three it's been three it mm -hmm. really has been three but i don't want to claim three because that's just too 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 long yeah well yeah. i'm glad that we are back together, together. yes we want to say happy sunday happy sunday today is april 10th yep sunday, and april by 10th. the grace of god we are able to get together today and visit with our friends and we want to say to our same ones from day one thank, thank you, you thank, thank you, you thank, thank you for subscribing and supporting and all of your comments and messages and everything yeah and to all of our new subscribers welcome welcome welcome, welcome. we are so glad to have you as official twin Twin friends, friends, friends of the, the twins. twins. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but we are so glad to be back for another edition of the Car, Car Chronicles. Chronicles. We know that you've been asking for the Car Chronicles, and we have had all the intentions and all the plans to bring it to you. Uh, we both been doing different things so yes. just to give you an update of what we've been doing and where we are right now I have been promoted on my job uh, to management so I it's been kind of a smooth transition with that uh, but just going from working one day a week to five days a week has been somewhat of an adjustment but i'm coming along in the first she's week she's doing great yes. first week went well mm -hmm. and it really won't affect our filming schedule no because it was really more me this time mm -hmm. being the reason why we weren't able to film together yeah. than her yeah but y'all know we live one minute apart not even so one minute not even a minute it would take so. me literally 30 seconds if I were driving to get from my driveway to her driveway, if yep, 30 yeah. seconds. So that's a positive, positive, positive. So, and with Rhonda, she's had some things going on, you mm -hmm. know, with just moving and just all settling. types of things settling. So, mm -hmm. but I think we've gotten to a point now where we're both kind of uh, adjusted, not 100%, but we're almost there. So we're glad I'm to about be back. I'm probably about 75% settled. Yeah. Like, y'all, I still have boxes to go through mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. But, you know, like I've day. known people that mm -hmm. have moved and it's taken them a year yeah. to get settled. And I know once I moved, we moved to this place three years ago. I didn't knock myself out trying to get everything mm -hmm. done. We were in there and... That's that's about yeah. all it was for me. I wasn't killing myself. Too. I'm getting the house together, um, but like like today, I spent uh, a large portion of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, we did do a little project around the house, and I'll share that with y'all. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful too. And and I also wanted to pull out my spring, some spring decor, so that I can update my kitchen my breakfast nook right but you know i had to go and ramble for it because <laughs> it's packed up in some boxes mm -hmm. so that kind of thing yeah and then we're, we're having a a whole total yard landscaping everything rehaul just on um outside on the grounds of our property uh so we've had a lot of uh, it work going beautiful. on around there and I, I'm so happy. Yeah. It's amazing how 
how much cutting trees makes a huge major difference. makes a huge mm -hmm. difference like mm -hmm. i mean i guess it should like totally transform and change your landscape right. but just to see it it's just yeah i'm so excited because i know that this summer uh the yard will be exactly like i've always envisioned it you know we moved on to a property and this property has i know how many trees would you say it had when we first got there Re really it had i know at least 300 <laughs> or more <laughs> yeah I, was, I wasn't gonna say that many i would say her property shonda has a little over five acres mm -hmm. and it was heavily wooded yeah. heavily wooded i know that this well, not, past not week, thick not thick thick because some of the trees y'all know you'll see a, a wooded area but it's it's so dense that you can't really walk navigate, through walk hers through wasn't it. really like that you could walk through it you could see through it so some of the trees are skinny look like like we could chop them down ourselves well i'm Little not chopping uh -uh. <laughs> well i would uh solicit your help in chopping trees and i'll watch from the window <laughs> but i know that this week alone we have cut down 57 trees yeah and when we first moved there about three years ago, my husband has also probably cut the same amount down himself. Um, but you're getting to the point now, like y'all, I just, we just, I just looked at it. I don't think she needs to cut any more trees or just maybe just a couple, but cut, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we still want trees for the shade and you know, the yeah. good air quality you get in the country when you have, you know, trees and stuff. But what was happening was because there were so many trees and not enough sunlight was actually coming onto the grounds and, you know, to the house, around the house. So when it would rain, it would stay wet for weeks, literally weeks, and it was causing moisture problems. And so um, I've seen a huge difference. They actually started cutting trees about three weeks ago. And I've seen such a huge difference in the house already. So I'm just excited. Excited, excited, excited. And it's looking fabulous. And so uh, they, they graded and dug up the whole yard, front and back, and planted grass. Yes. It's going to be beautiful. And then after this is all done, then the I'm having major landscaping done. So I'm excited about that because I love, love, love flowers. And you know what I have to get done after that? What? A fence. Because yeah. the deer. Everything that I like, they, they like. like. <laughs> it's like candy to uh -huh. them. I know. love roses. And I yeah. didn't know that a rosebud tastes like candy to a deer. So, I mean, they, they ate them down to the nub. No, they, I mean, they, they she take had it rose down. bushes. How many rose bushes along four. the Four. I had four. And they gone. Gone. So... I love yeah. the deer, but I, I love flowers and yeah. just pretty colors and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. that's I want to take a special minute and say hello, hello, hello to Leone. Hello, Leone. Yeah, that's <laughs> our friend, our wonderful, wonderful friend. She lives in Canada mm -hmm. and she has a blessed new grandbaby. Leonie, forgive me if it's your... I know you have grandbabies and great-grandbabies. Mm -hmm. This might be her sixth or seventh great-grandbaby. Oh. Anyway, she has a blessed baby boy. A beautiful... Aww. Oh, my gosh. Leonie, thank you so much for including Shonda and I in that aspect of your life. We appreciate it mm -hmm. so much. And your support here on our channel and getting to know you you are family, family. and so mm -hmm. i mean that that beautiful baby boy oh my gosh thank you leone we appreciate that so thank much. you leone and congratulations on the new baby yes and, and and like i told you in the um email please kiss that baby for his georgia aunties Aww. that's me and shonda yes. we're, we're his we're georgia aunties we're tts aunties. yes tts <laughs> but let me tell you y'all i gotta tell y'all something let me tell you what happened to me last night that was kind of traumatizing to me and shonda doesn't even know because i hadn't i hadn't told her yet so i started put it what is that your phone oh i started putting up the wallpaper last night and i'm gonna show y'all 
and I was running <laughs> out of wallpaper paste. Mm -hmm. So it was about seven o'clock. So I scooped the hubby up. I told Sugie, come on, Sugie, ride with mama. <laughs> ride mama over to the Lowe's. So oh, Sugie. Sugie. We got in the car, we got to Lowe's, we were walking around, we went in, we got the wallpaper paste, and I wanted to go to the floor, to back to the nursery back there, because I'm looking for specific plants. Y'all, I want me some Wandering Jews. Y'all mm -hmm. leave me a comment if y'all know what Wandering Jews mm -hmm. are. Yeah. But they will be really, really pretty over here in the Redwood Forest where we live. <laughs> All this green, it will give a pop of color. If you know a, a, um, a Wandering Jew has a burgundy leaf. And I mm -hmm. love them because they are low, 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 low maintenance. maintenance. And they just grow up something. I mean, you can't kill them. You can't kill them. If, mm -hmm. a, if a part of it drops on the ground, it will take root. Yeah. So, I just love wandering Jews, and I also like them because they grow over and they hang. But anyway, so I went looking for wandering Jews. So, we came out of the nursery, and uh, we, we were about 10 feet to the right. We were standing there, and we were, I was actually looking at some outdoor pillows. They had some beautiful pillows that you would put like on your patio. You know, they had the little patio table set up. Mm -hmm. So, I'm standing there looking, and y'all. Oh my God, about 10 feet away from me. When I tell you the biggest rat I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. This was in the Lowe's. And when it was inside, when, the, inside Lowe's, the Lowe's. The store? It, inside the store. Inside the store. It was about 10 feet away from me. Now I'm turning, I'm facing it. I'm talking to my husband. We're right by the patio to set up the pillows. I'm admiring these beautiful pillows. Okay. And there was an associate, a Lowe's associate. He was about <laughs> five feet away. He was between me and the rat. And y'all, I'm telling you, it was not a mouse. It was a rat. When I tell you it was about this long wow. and the tail was about that long. And when I saw it, I said, ah! You know, and I'm kind of freaking out. And the guy, it was an older man in there. And he said, yeah. He said, they got in here um, coming after this bird seed that we have in here. But, but, you know, I always feel like if a rat will come out, I mean, he was kind of walking fast, but he wasn't really scurrying like a mouse. He was kind of strolling mm. and he was big. I just feel like if they will come, if, if, it, if it came out in broad daylight, so to speak, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> then that that's the kind that'll run you that he won't run from you he'll, he'll run, run he you he'll run me <laughs> wow y'all that that unnerved me i mean i had to clutch my pearls because I, we probably have we ever told them what our favorite stores is everybody knows that we go to home goods yeah. and all like y'all know that but we have know, favorite stores tell them what what our, our favorite, favorite stores. stores of course is home goods mm, that's one of them and home depot yes and lowe's we love to go to home depot and, and lowe's, lowe's. Mm -hmm. and so this this that's gonna kind of kill my vibe a little bit i'm wow. gonna be a little bit scared just to browse the aisles and stuff like i normally do Mm. Well, Rink, I'm sorry that that happened to you, and I'm glad that you made it out, but I'm glad that I wasn't with you, because, ooh, I probably would have been running <laughs> all that. But anyway, we're going to move on um, to hey something. Y'all yeah. like our outfits today? Let's see what we got on here, girl. We have on navy. navy. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. A little navy and our ear bobs. They kind of match our lips. Yeah. And today we chose to do pink eyeshadow and pink lips. <laughs> Shonda has her hair up in a bun. I have my hair up in a bun. I'm, I, I, I've been so busy, but tonight I will be going to my own hair salon in I my bathroom. I think the bun is cute. It's cute. Yeah, but you know, I'm not one to really like uh, anything really tight on yes. my head. Tell I, them why. I just get a headache. It and gives then, us a headache. Uh uh. I don't. Yeah. I've never liked anything. I know on back my in hair. the day. Back in the day, probably mm -hmm. from the time we were. 
I, I'll say early 20s. Yeah. We used to wear a lot of styles similar to this. Hair up or we would have a little, uh, what do you call it, a little falsy hair pieces mm -hmm. that you could put on and make it all full and pretty. Mm -hmm. We used to do stuff like that, but we would suffer, suffer through it because stuff like that gives us a headache. Because what you have to do is you have to pull your hair up. And in order for it to look neat, neat, it has to be tight. Yes. And I could wear it until maybe midday, but then I would just feel that pounding, pounding. You headache head that's just coming. Pounding. So you got to you gotta stand there and you got to decide, okay, do I want to still try to be cute you, with this hairdo or do I want to pass out? Well, now, <laughs> now back in the day, you know, we used to suffer through we for the for, for the, the cuteness, cuteness. You got to sometimes. Suffer. I can remember even y'all, y'all. I'm almost ashamed to tell. Are you about this. to tell something on me again? No, I'm gonna tell something on me this well, time. Well, it's about time. <laughs> I had to suffer for the for the for the outfit. There was a pair of shoes oh, that matched Lord. my outfit perfectly. Mm -hmm. But when I tell y'all they were a half size too small, oh my God. and I, I forgot where we were going or whatever, but the shoes matched perfectly. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know I bought them in a half size, in a size, a half size too small? Well, they didn't Just, have your size? Mm -mm, they didn't have my size. I bought them a half size too small to wear that night for that date or event. I forgot <laughs> what, I, and I suffered through all of that for the cuteness mm. but you want to tell them about us now well let me just to uh i've been in a similar situation uh one night me and my girlfriend we were going out and we did i love to dance so i used to go out yeah. all the time to dance i love live music and all yes. of this and when i go out if the music is right i cannot sit she down she gets the dance floor i gotta hit it i don't care where i am i'm gonna stop right there and i'm i'm just gonna break it on down so see y'all see we've but been making the life that we live a, a life, life that, that we, we love because life is time. short yes and we, and i've been doing that but we went out and I had on a pair of shoes. I mean, they were diamond encrusted and cute and just everything. And I had on this little dress and oh, I was just cute to death. And my feet were hurting me. I made it through it. But when we left the event center where we were, I swung those shoes across the parking lot. Whoever wanted them could have them. Cause I, I knew that I would never, yes. ever put them on. I, I didn't have to, I, no more charging to the game, but now I don't put my feet through any of that. I still like to dress up and nice little, you know, jewelry and little clothes there, but my feet. And then we'll have something like this on our feet. A nice little pair of little kicks in a size 8. Or a little the right size. <laughs> yes. A little pair of flip flops or shh. So we'll be, we'll be cute from from neck to ankles. From head, top of my well, head. head. Okay. Head, head to ankles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and my feet, I keep my feet done. So my toes are even cute. But honey, I I love heels though. Now, every now and then, I will put on heels. Because I just feel like heels make a yeah. woman. You can. It makes you feel feminine. And, yes. You know, and but all they that. They change your walk. They change your walk. They make and, you feel mm -hmm. feminine. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Sexy. sexy sometimes mm -hmm. you know just mm -hmm. and my husband he likes to see me mm -hmm. uh straight he i think one of my favorite one of his favorite outfits that i might wear would be uh a t-shirt with a nice pair of jeans mm -hmm. and a little three inch heel or something yeah we, like that. we usually don't go over three inches mm -hmm. but i, I wish. used to though i used yeah. to <laughs> Yeah, now. I will. I can't really walk in them too high, but y'all, I wish I could. I wish I wish I could wear five, six inches. And I'm gonna tell you why because Shonda and I are short, we're not even quite five feet, but I always claim we're yeah, five, we claim feet. five feet, so we're we're short. We always been mm -hmm. short, and I just think. Heels look so good on a little short, mm -hmm. little short petite, one. as well as a tall, tall woman. A tall yes, woman can wear some. Yes, she can. Tall heels and oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. she can. She can. But y'all, <laughs> has anybody been being nosy? 
Y'all can't really see. I know that. somebody. Somebody. Somebody saw something or see something. They see something. Let me give y'all a little sneak peek. What y'all think we've been doing? That darn Rodney and Shonda been up to it again. We have sex. Home good sex. sex. Home good sex. <laughs> Not bags. Y'all let me tell you, I went. I went in home goods. You don't. You don't. You were at work. Uh huh. The other day when you told me you went. Yes. Okay. And I dreamt about what I saw. <laughs> the day before yesterday. Yesterday when I woke up. You know how sometimes you can remember your dreams. Yeah. yeah. I have dreamt about, it. and what I saw was one huge, beautiful, white ginger jar. Oh. And they also had one that was like a medium sized ginger, ginger jar. Now that one was forty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. I didn't even look to see the price of that big one, and I did not buy them. And I'm gonna tell you why. I I think that's why it troubled me so, and I ended up dreaming about it. I didn't get them because they were white, mm -hmm. and white. I don't know. I just felt like I don't know. I just didn't want white. Well, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. But in my dream, y'all, I took me some tape and some spray paint and I didn't I didn't paint I didn't spray the whole ginger jar but I kind of you know how you tape off a design mm -hmm. and then you spray and yeah. that's what I did and I it woke me up out of my sleep <laughs> but I didn't go back to home good because I know y'all I know me I've told y'all how how I do things sometimes like if I see something that I like mm -hmm. I want it either in multiple sizes or multiple, multiple colors. colors now mm -hmm. y'all leave me a comment and let me know if anybody else has that ailment when you see something you like you want it multiple sizes or multiple colors cuz she truly does and what will yeah. happen is see I've been shopping with rink a long time and what will happen is she'll pick something up and then she'll decide we'll ride it around because you know if you're going at home goods, Good. put it in your put it in your cart when you first get there. Even if you're in, you haven't decided if you're going to buy it or not, because if you put it back on the shelf and go back to get it, well, by the time you're walking back to the aisle to get it, you're gonna pass somebody, somebody that has mm -hmm. it in their bud. It's already gone. So what she'll do? We'll ride it for an hour or two or however long we're in home goods, because. Again, when you go at Home Goods, you have to walk around the store twice because you'll miss something. But she'll put it in the cart. I'm trying to chase this. Walk it around yeah. and then decide, okay, I'm not gonna get it. And I'll say, don't do it, get it, get it, get it. But if she puts it back, then she wants it and fusses at me for not forcing her to get it. Yeah. Because she knew I wanted it. She knew my heart. Don't you know my heart? Too? I know your heart and your habits and all. <laughs> That's right. All that. So I don't know, but that I and I, I I I was I'm better. I'm better because in my former life I would have gotten up when that dream woke me up like that and gone. She would have gotten gone up and, and got mm -hmm. it. I would and I would not have only gotten. The big one, I would have gotten the medium size. The medium size. size. Too, and mm -hmm. I didn't. I, didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So uh, we say that to say, I know you see all these things behind us yep. and you see the bags or the sacks. So what we have coming up next for you all that we're going to be working on is a haul uh -huh. because we've we been out haul. and we've been kind of refreshing for spring. Yes. And so we have some other things that we're going to be showing you. So yeah. that's why we haven't taken these things out of the bag. Mm -hmm. Well, friends, we want to thank you for hanging out with us today and gracing us with your presence. presence we have missed yes, you. Yes, we missed y'all. Or missed being with you together. Um, and we want to thank you. We want to leave you with this. Yeah, it's something that has kind of been on our hearts. Mm -hmm. And it is special to you from us there's something about the name Jesus there's something about the name Jesus it is the sweetest name 
I know. And oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. I know. I know. Make the life that you live a life that you love. Life is short. Peace out.